Hey guys, I'm Jacob and you're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I want to talk to you about night vision really quick. James Yeager said that night vision is the only superpower that you can buy. And I agree. And today with the advance of technology and with supply and everything else, night vision is becoming more and more accessible to the civilian. And for that reason, we see night vision being marketed more and more to the civilian. And we have people prioritizing night vision that I do not believe should be doing so. And I want to explain that because nobody is talking about it. So when you are looking at your priorities, when you are looking at the variables that are going to keep you alive or kill you, it goes like this. Mindset, tactics, skills, gear. Gear is at the bottom of the list. It is the last thing on this list, the lowest priority. And the reason why in this case is because if you can just go out and buy a superpower, but you don't understand its limitations, you will not use the right tactics, and you will get yourself and those who you love killed. To give some background on myself and a quick story, I air assaulted into Shark with a uh, team of ODA, and with an entire platoon of ANA Special Forces. And we were doing some illegal no-knock raid stuff. I was part of a platoon, uh, uh, a little uh, recon and maneuver platoon. Um, but our platoon was no more than 12 guys. I'm guessing it was more like eight. And so... Uh, we're not supposed to be doing no-knock night raids. That's what we were doing. We were looking for some butt stain, and I don't remember anything about him. And if I had to guess, I would guess that we were tasked with clearing these collots. Uh, and if we got shot at, uh, probably some civilian affairs guy attached to us would assume that that's where the bad guys would be. They would maneuver that ANA platoon in. We would get uh, firepower superiority. And they're probably hoping for a ceasefire or for them to surrender and to go get this guy. That's probably what they're going for. But I don't think we even knew who we were looking for. I think, like so often was the case, our job was to go around and sniff around until we got shot at. Anyways, we're wearing night vision. It's nighttime. Uh, we're actually supposed to knock on doors first. If nobody answers, we're kicking in doors. We're searching for hidden caches. We're searching for bad guys. I almost fell through a roof and died. But it was a bright night. We had a lot of moonlight, no cloud cover. It wasn't that dark. There's honestly no need for night vision outside. And outside, I didn't use mine. I was struggling with a neck injury that I had already sustained and I was not a happy camper. And when we were inside of these buildings, I'm like, everybody already knows that we're here. We're, we don't have any kind of surprise advantage. I'm going to use white light. Probably the only one person on the entire deployment in the entire unit, maybe the entire freaking military, who used white light on this deployment ever. Another thing that I didn't like, I was like, hey, we're like not allowed to use these. Can we like, you know, freaking take them off? Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Uh, so I got yelled at. We're not supposed to be using white light, of course. And, uh, and I was not properly trained on how to use white light. I wouldn't have understood until years later all of the potential mistakes I was making. But getting off, 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 off topic here. Uh... It was a very interesting experience using night vision uh, to that degree. Later, um, we, we cordoned off this building. We pulled security, waited to get picked up. Since we didn't find the guy, we were no longer important to the military. 
We were in Shark, which is historically one of the worst places in Afghanistan when you consider what happened to the Russians there as well as ourselves. And uh, they had no way to pull us out. Our ODA dudes called their own shit hook in to come grab us. And we got out. And they brought in an entire platoon from either the 1st or the 2nd or the 503rd. Uh, 40 or 50 infantry dudes, regular ground pounder dudes. And they had a two-day firefight after that. I believe that it it was the bloodiest firefight of the entire deployment. The dudes who lived, a lot of them got really messed up. It was a really big deal. And if those ODA dudes had taken it on themselves to get us out, we would have all died. No doubt about it. Like, no doubt in my mind at all. You don't sit in shark. Getting off topic again. Night vision. So, we, we, night vision is becoming more accessible. People have to market it more. I get it. You have to make money. You have to sell product. As long as you're advertising your product honestly, it does not matter how the person misunderstands the marketing or if they buy it for the wrong reason you are there to make money you got to make a buck so as long as you're not lying more power to you however we have all this marketing has led to culture that's how this works that's how psyops works and we have all of these people talking about how you can't fight if you don't have night vision uh you're restricted to only fighting for half of the day and all this other crap. And more recently, I had a guy tell me, look at how combat is going in Ukraine and with the Russians and the prevalence of night vision and technology there. And here's the issue. Again, going back to mindset, tactics, skills, gear. If you don't have the right mindset, you're not going to seek out the right training. Uh, and if you don't seek out the right training, you're not going to have the right tactics. If you don't have the right tactics, the right training, or the right mindset, you're not going to get the right gear. And at best, starting with mindset, you don't have the right mindset, you don't have everything else, you are making yourself into a loot drop. Here's the issue. For the people saying that this conflict in Ukraine is the most modern conflict that we have to date and therefore is the most accurate representation of any kind of patriot resistance that we would have in the U.S., you are painfully ignorant to me, but that's, that's fine. Listen, in Ukraine, what do the Ukrainians have when they're fighting uh, the Russian military. They have this really big, really important thing that you will not have. Uh, logistical support from the United States of America. What did the Viet Cong have in Vietnam? Logistical support from China. What did... What does the Taliban have? The Tal We're not fighting the Taliban. The Taliban is a U.S.-funded organization doing what we want. What is Hezbollah and these other turds, what do they have? Are they just a bunch of farmers in Afghanistan fighting? No, they are backed by Russia. What did the, these same turds and the Taliban specifically have when Russia was in Afghanistan? They had the U.S. They had logistical support. So here's the deal. Let's talk about tactics. You are a dude. You are one in a million. You have unlimited training. You have an entire squad that you have trained with and done night vision drills with that have their heads on right. You don't have resupply. You don't get to be going and walking through the woods to go kill somebody at night. You can't handle the losses. So your night vision is a defensive tool if you have the logistical ability to be supplying batteries. Otherwise, it's only an emergency tool. So I have to oversimplify to make things understandable. And this is not derogatory. It's just what it is. 
I need to help you understand what I'm trying to say and what I've experienced firsthand. Uh, and I have to do it in a way that you understand it with your experience. Uh, you get dropped off here in, in the woods. You have any piece of gear in the entire world that you want. And we have a really high speed special forces guy dropped in here in his underwear with a Glock 9mm, with a high point 9mm. And your only objectives is to kill each other. And you have the best night vision and he has nothing. Who wins? He wins. And what's he going to do? He's going to find a spot somewhere here where you can't see him, whether it's day or night, but he can see you. He's got good uh, observation points here. And he's going to take a doggone nap. And if you come tromping through the woods thinking that you're some high-speed, over-motivated, night-vision killer boy, uh, he's going to know you're there long before you know where he is. Maybe he just sleeps right past you going by. But he's going to know where you went, and the next day, when you're all stupid and tired, uh, and it's bright out, that night vision did you no good, uh, he's going to find you and he's going to kill you, okay? Uh, because he understands not only the benefits and the incredible, uh, the incredible advantage that night vision can give you, but he understands their detriments and he understands that in not having night vision he needs to alter his tactics but even if he had night vision he's probably not gonna go tromping through the woods in the night it's stupid it's just it is not a part of the u.s partisans tactics it is not a valid tactic assaulting is not going to be a thing for you night raids is not going to be a thing for you the things for you that exist are ambushes and breaking contact. And for your ambush, night vision could be incredibly helpful. But you know what? Your enemy will be logistically superior. Your night vision will be inferior. They will immediately know where you are and they will immediately have by far advantageous firepower and visuals anyways. So, that's besides the point. I'm not telling you not to get night vision. And I'm not telling you not to get white light. What I'm telling you is when you're prioritizing how to spend your money and more importantly, your time, what I'm telling you is to go and seek training to get your mindset right so that you can get your tactics right so you and your family don't die. Because all of these people who are on the internet bragging about what they've bought and looking for the right things to buy, they will lead you astray and they don't even understand what they are talking about. They have taken in marketing as being true for, for themselves. In believing the marketing and spending the money, they are now personally invested in the marketing and they are going to share the marketing themselves because they already truly believed in it and as a side note to that they will be offended by anybody who says anything otherwise because it would mean that they got fooled duped or made the wrong decision and people are too prideful to do that so you're sitting here and look your your social uh your 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 influencers all of this crap you look at these guys, they have all of these subscribers, they have all these followers, they get all of these views. It's not because they have quality content. It's because they're saying what these social engineers want them to say. They're giving, uh, they're giving the acceptable message. You've got guys out here talking about how their partner is in the CIA and yet you are trusting them even though they don't ever do anything They've never been to war. They've never been in combat. They never do really actual skill presentations. They live in some suburb doing nothing but driving to a regular day job and doing live videos every once in a while. And you're going to lap up what they're selling, right? The U.S. government has given you your heroes. The problem with Tim Kennedy or 
you know, Evan Hafer or all of these guys is the government has put them where they are at, will push their content and says, here, Chris Kyle, here is your hero. Listen to what he has to say, respect him, and maybe you'll be a hero too. They might sound a little patriotic here and there. They've got to reel people in. But at the end of the day, the devil's in the details, guys. So, again, just to pound this in, I'm not saying don't get night vision. I don't have night vision. I would like to have some night vision. Night vision is a force multiplier. Night vision is the only superpower that you can buy. But doggone if half of the guys out there buying it for its tactical use aren't going to just go get themselves killed because they don't understand how to use that power and they don't understand its limitations. We will do more videos on this. We need to talk more about tactics, guys. But if your response to every scare is going and buying things and you're not taking classes... Your mindset is wrong, and everything else is going to be wrong too. Uh, now, I'm, I do these videos telling people they don't need to buy things, and then I say, but wait, you can buy things from me. I hand make rifle slings. All my components are made in the USA, but I'm not telling you to buy my rifle sling because it's going to save your life at the end of the day. I make a rifle sling. I make custom colors, make them custom to order. I think that they're very comfortable. I think that they work in a way that's unique, that's very practical, and I would love for you to buy a sling from me to support me so that I can make enough money to continue doing videos and so that I, as a combat veteran myself, uh, can have some money and can have some work. I'm not asking you for money, I'm asking you for work if you like my content. I think that I have my knife brand for what I have designed my knives to do, I think are the best on the market. They're made in the US. They're made by White River Knife and Tool. My knife brand is Exodus Knife and Tool. I'm not telling you to buy them because if you don't, you will be effeminate and you won't be an alpha male anymore. I'm, you know, I'm, I think that they're fantastic knives and I happen to know a lot about knives and knife use. And a bit about survival. So, how you can support this channel will be in the description box below, but I'm not doing this video to sell you stuff. I don't do this YouTube channel to sell you stuff, and I don't do YouTube videos to get views. Look through my YouTube videos. I do videos, video after video after video, on products and topics that nobody else will talk about, nobody else cares to talk about, because you can't make any money off of it because it's not going to generate views for me in and of itself. I do it anyways because I think that certain videos need to be on YouTube, and I think that YouTube should be for grassroots content creators sharing the things that they're passionate about. I do not think that YouTube should be a midnight infomercial with your favorite YouTube personality face trying to look like they're grassroots. So that's why I'm here. There you go. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I should probably uh, title this video something really cheeky, like, you don't need night vision. Some crap like that, you know. But I don't know what I'm going to title it yet. So freaking, there you go, guys. Uh, you, you know what? If, if you hate me, my content, if you think that night vision needs to be the first thing on your list, just write me a whole paragraph of why in the comment section. I love people getting wrapped all around the axle and advertising their ignorance. It's the best part of YouTube. I don't know why the ignorant get off on proving their ignorance. Like, like you have no firsthand experience in what you're talking about. Why are you so motivated to talk about this topic? And advertise that. I don't know, but I love it. So if that's you, go ahead and do it. Look up the Dunning Kruger effect. It might change your life if you have the ability to look at yourself objectively. I'm getting off of here before we hit 20 minutes, maybe, because I think I've got about 10 seconds left. Sorry for the video quality. 
that's what I've got for you today. And that's it. Have a blessed day. Talk to you later.